what we're going to do today is we're going to take a theory that we saw on, on the internet by another guy who used what's called the fuse technique, where he would actually line a circle of charcoal around the grill and light one end and let it catch around. But we're going to take that theory and use it on our own, uh, within our own setup. setup. And we're going to have these coals lit and we're going to put another set of fresh coals on this side and while these guys are lighting and smoking the wood the other ones will eventually catch by the time these die down we'll transfer the wood over and put a fresh set on this side and it'll be a constant alright so it's about 7.30 in the morning we're just getting the grill going with the heat so you can see we're starting at a temperature around uh, 275 now if we lift the lid and show our means of getting to this temperature, we're going to see that we took our two charcoal chambers, filled it up with a quarter of charcoal in each, and we left an opening on the other side of the chamber, which will put a set of fresh coals to act as the fusing coals, we'll call it, and the fuse will slowly light the fresh charcoal on either side of the, the chambers. By the time these coals die down, the fused coals will have already caught and we can replace the other side with fresh coal to take the next wave and hopefully heat. this will let us keep our lid closed for a little longer so we're going to go ahead and get the wood in and we're going to get the pork butt going it's been about 30 minutes now about 8 o'clock alright so we've added the fresh charcoals on the other side. We've made sure that they're contacting the ashed over charcoals. That way maybe in 15 minutes or so we'll have some heat transfer out to the other side. We've put three charcoal or three uh, soaked mesquite wood chunks on top. Uh, we can smell the smoke already. We're going to get the pork butt. Now we're going to place the Boston butt in the center of the grill over top our aluminum foil for the drippings. Okay, the butt's been placed on the grill over indirect heat. This is our first smoke here of the, of the morning. The smoke's pouring out. The temperature says right now at around maybe 200, 210, 220 degrees. So hopefully it'll increase a little bit. And we're hoping not to open the grill for maybe an hour or so. Alright, so it's been about four hours. This is what the butt's looking like, looking like so far. We're adding three, three or four fresh charcoals to the already charcoal pile. Our wood chips are catching on fire, but that's okay. They'll go out when the... We'll go out when the lid closes. The butt looks pretty good. Now we're going to add some wood chips to keep the smoke going. Putting a mop on now just to keep it a little juicy. Looks great. <laughs> oh, wow. So we're going to add a couple, couple more coals to keep the heat going. We've given up on our back and forth. Uh, the left and right thing that was kind of, it, it worked out well in the beginning, but not at the end. It's about 1 o'clock, 1.30. Smoke's getting a little light, well, it's more wood. I'm going to get some mop on here.
Said it's been off the off the grill. Laurie's laughing at us. That's all right. We've had a few beers. We're just gonna see how it falls apart. Yeah, it falls apart pretty well. Look at that. You wanna try some of this? See if you can get some. Wow, that's really nice looking. Yeah, see, it comes apart very nicely. It takes no effort at all. Yeah, it's only yeah. about 12 hours. 12 hours for six pounds. Boston, Boston, Boston.